Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Trade and Industry Minister Dr. Rob Davies has told Parliament South Africa will need to prepare a new trade arrangement with the UK in light of that country's decision to exit the European Union. Keith Campbell discusses the significance of this for South Africa. Hi Keith. How significant is trade between South Africa and the UK? It's very important. Uh, the United Kingdom was one of South Africa's biggest trading partners. According to British figures, the two-way trade came to £8.1 billion pounds sterling in 2015. The United Kingdom takes something like 20% of South Africa's total wine exports to the whole world and 30% of our total fruit exports to the whole world. So th this is uh, an important uh, relationship. There's also, by the way, an awful lot of two-way investment. And the United Kingdom remains the biggest single foreign investor in South Africa with, I think, a figure of 46%. So yes, this is also a very long-standing relationship going back an awful long way these days. So yeah, important. What is the potential impact of Brexit on trade relations between the two countries? Well, there could be uh, bad effects and there could be good effects. Uh, firstly, if Brexit turns out to harm the United Kingdom economy, that means a very important South African market is damaged. That will affect South African exports. If, on the other hand, the British economy continues to do very well, as it has been doing since the uh, vote uh, uh, result was announced, then South Africa has a major trading partner with a growing economy and therefore a growing market. Uh, other factors, the, the pound has weakened since the Brexit vote uh, and that unfortunately means that South African products are more expensive in the UK than they were previously, although this of course also applies to every other country exporting into the UK as well. Uh, should the uh, sterling strengthen after Brexit? Will it make South African products cheaper in the UK market? Should Brexit damage the uh, financial uh, sector in the United Kingdom? This could indirectly harm South Africa because the city of London is one of the two most important financial centres in the world. So there's not much alternative to, to London for uh, uh, sourcing external financing. New York is, is the other. Uh, great one. On the other hand, um, if there are not uh, a good, if there's not a good deal between the UK and the European Union, uh, this could lead to Britain emphasising trade with the Commonwealth, which of course would include South Africa. One thing, uh, the UK has already identified South Africa as one of the 50 priority markets it wishes to boost trade and investment with post uh, leaving the European Union. It must be remembered that the, the British government, the Prime Minister, the Secretary of State for International Trade, Minister of International Trade in South African terminology, and other key ministers, the, the Secretary of State for leaving the European Union, the Foreign Secretary, have all stressed that Britain is aiming, determined, prioritising improving trade with the whole world. And the slogan of the administration of Prime Minister Theresa May is a global Britain. A Britain open to trade with the whole world and open to investment with the whole world. A two-way trade, not just Britain exporting but also Britain importing. And that of course uh, gives an important uh, political support for seeking the best possible trade deal uh, between the UK and every other country. But as I say, South Africa is one of the 50 countries they've prioritised. And South African uh, Trade Industry Minister Rob Davies and the British Secretary of State for International Trade, Liam Fox, have already uh, reached an in-principle agreement that nothing will be done that will harm current trade between South Africa and the UK. So I think there's uh, a lot of political will on both sides to make certain that South Africa does not get damaged and that 
hopefully, more likely, South Africa will actually benefit. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.